Hey there, thank you for stopping by. Today I wanted to show you how to back a canvas. Basically just a way to make it look pretty. This is a canvas I've done in a prior video. I'm just going to remove the tacks, tape, and plastic. Seem to be a pretty good way to cover the back, keep paint off the majority of it, and prop it off the drying area. I found that masking tape came in handy for this part. The kit that I found online was through Acrylic Pouring Facebook site. And through there I looked around on Amazon and found a cheaper version on CheapJoesArt.com. I'll drop a link in the bio. I swapped it out for double stick tape. Did some research online and it looked like people were having issues with the tape that came with it, so I just decided to skip that step. So what you want to do is put the double stick tape all around the edge and then grab your paper that comes with it. And it's like a brown wrapping paper. Cut it to about the size of your canvas. I just roughly trace the outside of the canvas in pencil and then attached it. Smooth it out as best as you can. And it comes with this cutter, so you just want to watch that the safety is on when you're not using it. To use it, you just want to loosen it up, slide over the plate, and then tighten it. very carefully watching your fingers of course slide it around the edge it'll give you about an eighth of an inch on the edge so it's not 100% covering everything on the back but it's covering the majority Then just go along the rest of the edges, cut it as carefully and hard as you can. Just make sure it has a clean cut. This is something new for me. I've always kind of wondered how to make the back look nice and something that can be hung on the wall nicely versus just a regular canvas and having kind of the corners hold it up on the inside. So in doing some research online, I found this idea and thought it was worth trying. This way just makes it look a little more professional. I 
And you just want to measure down about a third of the way on each side. Mark with a pencil or a pen. We're going to prep these a little bit with a screwdriver. So we're using these tiny little screws that come with the kit. Just make a little guide on each side. There's these little D hooks that come in the kit. So grab one and a screw and start with one on one side. That's where the muscles come in handy. It's definitely a workout. <laughs> Just make sure it's tight. Make sure this is sturdy enough for the wall and to be hung up for many years. Next, grab the wire that comes with it. It's pretty soft wire. Just want to loop it through the hook. Pull it through so it's tight. And then we're just going to wind it around. Twist it around as much as you can and then shift it down. It's definitely something I need more practice with. I think it gets easier as you keep doing it. You can definitely cut it shorter if you don't want it this long. That is up to you. Just make sure it has a good inch at least when you coil it. And yes, you will need a wire cutter, so make sure you have one of those. It does not come on the kit. Now we're going to loop it through the next side and just kind of eyeball it and cut it. So the same here, we're going to loop it around and through the D hook, pull it tight. And then the fun part of looping it around a bunch of times. Here you can see hyperspeed. speed. 
Let me know if this is something you've tried or if you have a different version that works for you. Let me know what you thought. Here you can see it's pretty nicely done and can hold this canvas. Feel free to add your business cards and any other things you want to personalize. And it also comes with these fuzzy bumpers so they can stay off the wall. Put one in each corner and it's good to go. Thanks for stopping by today. I hope you enjoyed. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.